Okay guys, this is a quick video showing how to quickly test your internal solenoid. This is my KingTech um, engine. I have a problem with it will uh, not starting up. So I removed the cover just to see if there's anything not noticeable that's wrong and uh, sure enough one of the wires from my solenoid was was off. I soldered it back and it's it's good. So if anybody have this problem, um, it could save you a trip. You know, I'm sure Barry would appreciate not having a simple repair than a a real a real repair job. So here is how I diagnose this problem. First, I toddled through my my um. My menu here, go to info, toggle all the way to gas, valve, okay. Now I connect the ear, the fuel line to the solenoid um, connector here, or your solenoid um, valve housing, and I'm going to blow into this end. And if it's working, you should hear the, the valve, the solenoid open up and let the ear in. You should hear ear pressure inside here. So let's try this. So I'm blowing right now. So you hear that? So just by turning it on, you'll feel when the pressure relief, when, when you put you may blow a certain pressure into the, the tube. You should feel it going in the engine. I'll do it again. And that's the gas solenite. And the gas solenite, based on the wiring, is one over here okay all right let's go to your fuel solenoid so one more step let's fuel solenoid and do the same thing you blow into the tube I hear that ear pressure going there do it again So you could hear the ear pressure rushing inside when the valves open. And that's how you could test if there is a solenoid issue. Um, another thing too, if, if 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 you do this test and you don't and one of these valves not opening, now it depends on what kind of problem you have. And if it's sit there and start at ignition and it won't run, it won't um the temperature won't go up then that's your your gas all night and if it's sit there at a certain rpm like 12,000 and it won't go past that that's your fuel all night and so forth if you have more problem contact King Tech but this is just my home remedy no way to test is um, you can pull each cable Make sure you mark which one is which because one side is gas and one side is um, fuel. You don't want to mistake the two of them. So there is a marking. See, this one is fuel, F U L. So the one for it closer to the turp the compressor is the fuel, and the one inside is the gas. Okay. So let's see again, which one is, so this one is the gas and this one here is the fuel. So you can put five volts or not, not exceeding five volts. So you could use your 
your five volts um, voltage uh, regulator, whatever it is, to connect to the to these um, connector, or you could put it direct to your ECU, which is right here, because um, this cable here is what carry the voltage to your solenoid. So your RJ45, I think this connector is. I actually put a new one on here because the one, is, the one is, was was not working properly. So you put. You can cut your art this off and you know if you're handy if you're handy with repairing stuff you could cut the cable off repair um, if you if both valve working then chances are your problem is in your, your rj connector or your cable coming from you know from the ecu so this is a quick way to diagnose your problem okay so this is just a auto in case you want to do a quick repair yourself otherwise con contact King Tech there are a great bunch of guys there they will help you out but this is my quick video showing someone how to quickly diagnose a problem rather than um, getting scared and wondering if the engine is all bad or whatever it's just a simple fuel cell night so these, if, they, if you take test these individually and each of them click and you can blow through the tube and you feel the pressure going inside, then chances are your connector going from your engine to your ECU. That might be bad. So you might call Barry and change it or just buy, <laughs> or you can just buy this part from them. I hope they start selling these parts, simple parts, man. These things are just something you can just pull two screws and remove it so Barry if you're listening man sell these parts save you a lot of engine coming back all right thanks for watching